Today we're going to take another look at the 2024 recruiting class and we're going to shine another spotlight on four-star linebacker Miles Graham who signed with the Florida Gators. We're going to take a look at his highlights. We're going to take a look at his 24-7 sports player profile page. But before we do all that, you need to click that subscribe button because we're covering this 2024 recruiting class every day this offseason, player by player. And you're going to need to know what some of these players are looking like before they start making plays for your team. But here's his 24-7 sports player profile page and the first thing you're going to notice he's a four-star prospect ranked ninth among linebackers fifth in the composite though he's ranked 114th nationally in the rankings but 51 in the composite we might see some good highlights here very interesting prospect six foot one two twelve probably a little thicker by now because those are a little bit older and he's enrolled with the florida gators 45 offers that's top tier that's at a level of like a five-star recruit that's saying college football really wanted this dude they really wanted this guy to be playing for their team their college program and then you look to the left just casually looking at the schools who are sending offers you got alabama you got auburn you got arkansas guarantee you there's a lot more top tier power five programs trying to get him that lets me know this is a big-time recruit, and 24-7 sports might be sleeping on him. Played in the Under Armour All-American game. Looking at his accolades here. Ran track and field, so we're going to have some speed. We're going to have some athleticism. Father played for the Florida Gators. Played running back Ernest Graham. Remember that name? Remember that name? Michigan was trying to get him. Auburn. But we're with the Florida Gators four-star recruits looking over here on three four-star down the board and everybody has him as a top 10 linebacker on three has him ranked at four rivals at three the industry rankings at five top tier prospect let's take a look at the highlights here and let's see what we can see about miles graham let's see his game here let me know what you think about him in the comments below we got 10 minutes we got a lot on him but when I look at his profiles, ooh, nice hit. He looks like a player that's put together. He took, takes the time to make his highlights, to make his avatars, small things. He's got some speed, and he's thick. He's pulling away a little bit. I mean, that he's slowing down there, so you can't grade the top end on those last 15 or so yards. He can move for that side. He's thick. Look at the burst there in the closing speed. Look at the burst towards the quarterback. Good movement skills. We'll grade him as a running back and linebacker. Functional athleticism will still translate. And we got speed. And they may want to move him over. It's not like teams have never done that. I mean, Steel Chambers for Ohio State was a running back that moved the linebacker. And now it's going to be in the NFL draft. Playing coverage. Oh, closes it. And, and. This guy's good. This guy's good. He shouldn't be this far down the overall rankings. I should have covered him earlier, but he's so far down the rankings that I'm just now getting to him. But he's good. He's good. I've covered some guys recently he definitely should be ahead of. I'll just say that. I'm not going to name names. He should definitely be... Uh, you can tell right off the rep on plays. Good tackle there. And when there's tackles, there's force with this dude. Good running back. Big physical running back. Prospect here. He a big banger between the tackles. Look at him go. Again, you got to adjust the athleticism for his size. It's hard to do when you're eyeballing somebody. He's pulling away there. 212-ish is what he was listed at. He's probably a little thicker. He looks thick. He looks bigger than what he's listed at. Get into the tackle. This guy's got speed. This guy's got closing speed. He's got burst. He's very explosive. I bet he jumps high. I bet he jumps well over 35 inches on the vert. I bet you hit pushing like 38. Maybe higher, I don't know, but he's bigger. But he's very explosive on that. Look at the pop, look at the vision. 
He's a smart player. He's got good instincts. That's why he can excel on both sides of the ball at a high level. He's not putting his offensive clips on there because he just wants to show you. He's showing you because he's top-tier prospect. Reading the play, good coverage. Reading the quarterback, knowing that he's moving, getting to the ball. Look at him. Be in the right place. Very smart player. Very smart player. Look at him go. Here we go at running back. He's a thick dude. Getting the ball. We're moving. Tough to tackle. Tough to bring down. Kicks it out. We're in the second level. We roll it in. Hitting the edge. Getting to the end zone. Runs over a dude. Running over a face. Marshawn Lynch style. Here's the next one. Moves laterally well. This guy's got good feet. He's got good explosiveness. He's got size, and I'll add more size. Speed's good for what we need him to be at linebacker. Definitely see why he's ranked where he's at among linebackers. And the composite has him ranked 51. Somebody saw the eye test over 24 sevens and shot him down 50 some spots. My goodness. He should be ranked somewhere around where the composite has him, around 50 or so. 50, 60, 45 ish, somewhere around there. He should be. I mean, I'm reacting off what they write about these players and watching the highlights multiple times on these players. But I got a good feel. Also, reading off the. Offers, that's also a huge indicator. He's got the offer amount of a five-star. Like, 45 offers, top-tier programs after him. We got a good highlight tape. All the rankings have him up there. What does? What more do you got to do to get that fifth star? What more does he got to do? Look at him. He's smart. Look at, look at him pull off of that. React and get back to the ball carrier. A little over halfway through here. Read and react. It reminds me a little bit of like a Jalen Smith. A little bit. Ooh, look, I'm getting low there. Good bend on the tackle. Now we're at running back. Aggressive. He just moves mid. This is a fantastic prospect and if they needed to put him at running back they got themselves a guy they can pound between the tackles like he's more than just a linebacker to them too i guarantee they saw that and they're like "Ooh, ooh, something down the line happens we get some linebackers in the portal and we're hurting at running back we can move them over we can see we can get some depth that versatility that adds to his profile. I don't know why they didn't mention that at the top. I don't know why. He's good in coverage. I mean, he's an all-around good player. We we got good functional athleticism. Moves laterally very well. Reads and reacts. Has a very good instinct of what's going on around him. A good feel. Look at him in covers. We're tight downfield. Now we're out the wildcat. Look how thick he is. Look at those legs. Getting low there. A good bend. You're not catching that from all prospects around this range. Good coverage. Good coverage. Close the gap there. Here. Player in the flat. Player coming over the middle. Breaks it up. A 
get into the end zone. Here we go again. We're in the middle there. Reading it. Man, he's just in smart play after smart play. Now we're going to be in coverage. Gets off the block. Gets to the tackle. Brings him down easily for him. Doesn't over pursue. Let's the play come to him because he's got to be the insurance policy. Let the defensive line work. We got ourselves a good linebacker here. We got ourselves a good football player too in general. It's good in coverage. He's good covering the run. Very good running back prospect too. He's got range. Very good movement skills. I've seen enough. I know we got a good player here. And I know he's under ranked in the rankings and the overall rankings. Like a lot of those players I've covered over the last days and weeks a lot of them should be behind them a lot of them should be behind this guy i can definitely say that i also don't get this excited on those guys as i do to him i try to stay positive with those guys this is a different cat this is a different cat moves well shedding blocks getting downfield Look at that. Top five, top ten linebacker in the class. Functional prospect with good athleticism. Functional prospect. I mean, very good prospect that you can move on both sides of the ball if you need to. You could definitely do that. Now we're going to be in coverage, looks like, this play. Yep. Staying where you need to be. We're reading the drag. Okay. I did not read the quarterback. I was watching him. I just that's why I call this more of like a reaction than a film review. Because when you do a film review, you got to look at all of it. Back and forth, the same play multiple times to have a good understanding of the play. But when you're watching him, the traits, everything's firing off the screen here. We got good size. We got explosiveness. We got pop off the step. We see that when he's running the ball. We see that when he's in coverage. We see that when... He's making the tackle, getting to that running back. He's good against the run. He's good in coverage. He's a jack-of-all-trade player. You can even flip him to the offensive side of the ball, and he's going to get it done for you. This is a very good linebacker prospect. Should probably have that fifth star. He might need that fifth star. The offers are saying that. The tape's saying that. The rankings are kind of saying that. If not, I regard him as a top-tier four-star, which means he should be ranked somewhere in the 50 range. 60, 45, 60, somewhere around there. You really got to go in player by player and nuance that. But he should be around that range. He is underranked. He's like 114 on 24-7 sports. It's too low. He's ranked a lot higher compared to some of the other guys in front of him. He's a lot better than some of those players. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button on the way out. I want to thank you for watching. Catch you on the next video.